So my next guest says that there's also a new twist that's happening in schools that many parents likely do not even know about yet, and that could do even more harm. Social emotion learning. Robin Steenman is the Williamson County chapter. She's the chair of Moms for Liberty. She joins me now to break all of this down. Robin, thanks for being here. So, so tell us all about social emotional learning, because I mean, this is basically, from what I understand, just like another means through which to present information that doesn't have anything to do with academic growth to kids. Right, well, we started looking into our curriculum with suspicions of CRT. We had a child that suddenly was ashamed to be half white, ashamed of his white father. So we started to look into our curriculum, which is called Wit and Wisdom, and we found pockets of CRT there. But what we really found was that it was end-to-end -end social emotional learning. And some of you might recognize um, the, the catchphrases, uh, teaching your child how to cope with feelings, manage emotions, develop identities to feel and show empathy, that's social emotional learning and whether or not you want public school to teach your child about that is up to you. But we found in our curriculum that there were just these common threads that were age inappropriate, that were extremely dark, that they're designed to elicit an emotional response from children. Um, suicide ideation occurs in first, third, fourth and fifth grade. Now, I mean, think about your first grade, you know, six, seven year old learning about, you know, suicide. Um, and then again, in the third grade, another common thread is bad white people, extreme emotion, cannibalism, anti-nuclear family, dark imagery throughout, uh, graphic death, anti-America, and age inappropriate topics. That sounds like I f it feels like I'm I'm hearing about a you know a review of Saw as opposed to you know actual curriculum for elementary school kids and that's the other terrifying thing I mean seven years old seven year olds are learning you know basic concrete concepts not abstract ideas and political science theory this has nothing to do with education how tell how this is abusive yes. Well, you know, if they start in kindergarten, when we say age and appropriate topics, that runs the gamut. In kindergarten, they're introduced to murder. In the first grade, they have a graphic mating and the soft intro to gender fluidity. In the second grade, uh, anti-police, anti-fire department. In the third grade, it's highly anti-church, torture. Anti-fire department. I mean, that, like, like they're... <laughs> Who's rooting for the fire at that point? Oh my gosh! But this, I under, this is really about reconditioning, not just about kids learning, but how they view the world and reconditioning them to to reprogram for relationships, family. I mean, this is this is like a behavioral conditioning for, as you just said, the nuclear family as well and their place in in society. Well, even in the fourth grade, you've got rape, murder, adultery, scalping, and skinning of your human victims, stillbirth. In the fifth grade, you have gore, excessive violence, alcoholism, and promiscuity. Again, these are elementary age children, and you're indoctrinating them into this dark, dark world of depressing content and hopelessness, and it is affecting them psychologically. We have kids um, in therapy over this. We have families that are, are broken over this and are having to deal with picking up the pieces of well, suddenly, you know, a little boy is ashamed of his white father. Suddenly, a seven-year-old girl comes home and asks why everybody hates her. Another first grader um, is ashamed of her white family and her grandparents and has, has had suicidal thoughts about it. I mean, these are young, impressionable, defenseless minds that are being just bombarded day after day from August to May, the whole school year. They find these books. They're just dark and emotionally charged, and each book has... 20 lessons, up to 20 lessons that can spiral around it. So, you know, you pick one book and day after day, well, you're gonna learn grammar from this book. You're gonna learn adjectives, adverbs, you know, sentence expansion, narrative expansion. Um, Skinning. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, 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 great. It, I mean I, and I don't mean to, I don't mean to make light of it, but this is how, in, this is how ridiculous that, that this, this desire and this intent to to really brainwash kids. I mean, ultimately, that's what it is, and to shame them into what uh, you know these 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 cultural 
I, Marxist for the lack of a better way to put it, um, their idea of how kids should should see the world through their activist eyes, and they're trying to transpose this into education. Um, uh, tell me this because I, you know, I, I'm looking at. I, I was actually just I have on my in some of my prep, Robin, just some statistics about su sadly teenager suicide, depression with kids. We saw this during the lockdown, and obviously the first thought is to think, well, you know, everybody's been locked down for it was supposed to be 15 days, and it ended up being for an entire year or more. And kids were, were not able to regularly go to school, have athletics, and, and even go through those major milestones in life that they use to define their adulthood later in life, whether it's homecoming, prom, major games. But with this education, this mm -hmm. curriculum that is being fed to them, I, I'm curious as to your thoughts on how much that also plays into the depression rates and the suicide rates, not just from staying at home, but also being fed that kind of material day in and day out by an educational institution that they are told they can expect to, to care about them. Well, I think what the, the aim, the end goal of this type of curriculum is an emotional thinker. Because if you examine the left, they are against objective truth. They Everything is subjective. And if you learn to view your world through, well, I feel this way about something, so it must be right. If you gauge everything on emotion, well, emotion's never wrong. Emotion just is what it is. So you lose logic and ration and scientific reasoning and objective truth. And you marry that up. You take a child from the kindergarten all the way up to high school. And then for the Biden administration, they want to introduce action civics. Well, what is action civics? It's how to protest. It's not, you know, going to your congressman and, mm. you know, or woman and um, voicing your concerns. It's taking to the streets and, and yelling with a bullhorn or worse. And you've had a child from kindergarten on that's just feelings, feelings, feelings. And then this is how you protest. And that's how you burn down a whole country. What should other parents look out for? Because everyone now, I mean, it, and obviously this SEL is is a is a component. It's a tool for CRT because you have to condition the mind in order to be able to to do the rest. What do parents need to be to be watching out for? I mean, I think every parent obviously should be looking at their kids' curriculum. I don't care how old the child is. But what should parents? What should they be looking for in particular? Something that would that that would maybe not so obvious that would tip them off. Well, two points. I do think CRT is the capstone on SEL. And SEL is the true belly of the beast. So even if we're successful in prying the capstone off the top of it, then you still have to go after SEL. You still have to address that. And, and things to look out for is don't deny your parental instinct. I hear a lot of teachers know best. Um, the teacher's in charge of you know teaching your student about values and, and even religion. But no, we don't co-parent with teachers. It's the parent that knows their child better than anyone in this world. And if you sense something that's not right with your child, or if you read a book and, and that's not right, you could just feel it in your gut. Don't discount that. Don't think that, oh, you're not an educator. You don't know. You are the parent. And Moms for Liberty is about reasserting parental rights. It's about informing and empowering the parents. And parents have to take that back in the defense of their children or their children are gonna be damaged by this curriculum. This curriculum, actually in the long term divide it drives a wedge between the parent and the child so you've got to stand up now and and uh listen to your yeah. gut